my dear people of god we are on the fifth easter sunday the gospel reading gives us the new commandment of jesus to reflect upon jesus says love one another as i have loved you and if you love this way everyone will know that you are my true disciples how did jesus love us he loved us by being a servant he washed the feet of his apostles jesus loved us unconditionally forgiving every sinner whatever sin may have been he forgave unconditionally every sinner jesus loved us by dying on the cross his love is of the highest form of love wherein he says i die for you so that you may live yes love when it is complete is ready to make any kind of sacrifice for the well-being of the other that's how jesus has shown his love towards us it's a challenge for us today to love in this way how jesus has loved and if we do that everyone else will know that we are really the disciples or the followers of jesus christ i would like to comment also on the first reading in the first reading we see that paul and barnabas help people to grow in their faith they keep them encouraging to persevere in their faith even in the midst of hardships and difficulties saint paul says and which i like this words very much we have to experience many hardships before we enter the kingdom of god these words came very strongly to my mind at one point in my life during our priestly formation we would be sent out for mission experience at different stages of our formation at philosophical studies stage and theological studies stage and so in 2011 we were sent for a mission experience to arunachal pradesh we had to visit those people and people usually normally lived on the top of the hills we had to walk through jungles and hills we had to cross creeks where there would be leeches it was full of hardships and difficulties and so we started it was a journey of 9 hours we had to go to a place called ranghil we set out we walked for 5 hours and we took rest in one village called hetman the village that we get on the way and then we set out the next morning after taking good rest to reach to our destination and after walking another 3 and 1/2 hours i got the first glimpse of that village ranghil and i said wow such a beautiful place it's really like heaven i forgot all about my hardships and difficulties that i had on my way all this while it gave me complete joy and these words of saint paul of today's reading came to my mind very powerfully and the words of jesus in the gospel of matthew where jesus says we need to walk through narrow gate to reach the kingdom of heaven narrow is the path that leads to life which means that leads to eternal life to the kingdom of god my dear people of god in the journey of life we need to persevere in our faith in order to reach to our eternal home to our destination on the way on the journey we will be having lot of difficulties hardships to live a true christian life would not be so easy this will be all mingle with persecutions hardships and that could arise at any moment in our life and if we persevere in our faith in the lord jesus christ we will enter life eternal life and in the second reading we are assured that all things are passing away and everything is becoming new and god is going to make all things new 
he says the whole creation will be made new for those who persevere in their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's pray this Sunday for grace to persevere in our faith amidst all kinds of hardships, persecution and difficulties of life. May God bless each one of you.